I'm Diana Belzone, and welcome to a fabulous evening for the Skin Cancer Foundation. The night the stars shine on. All of the benefits of tonight's charity event go to skin cancer research and the research initiatives. We have some really fun celebrities coming up that we're going to get a chance to interview and give you the inside scoop to what's going on here this evening. In fact, I heard there might even be a sea lion or two putting on a show for all of you. So, enjoy the festivities here at the Skin Cancer Foundation with the night stars shine on. Of course you all know who you're looking at right now. How can you forget this adorable face who's a handsome stud? This is Suede. Of course you recognize him from the reality phenomenon, Project Runway, Season 5. Was there any other season before the Suede? Make it work. Make it work, baby. Make it work. That was his famous catchphrase. So you're out here tonight celebrating this wonderful cause for, for skin cancer recognition and prevention. What brought you out tonight, Suede? Well, you know, I've always been a proponent of not turning into a handbag as I get older, so I'm always wearing my SPF as, as high as I can do it. Um, and I think it's really important that everybody realizes that as the world gets bigger and people are using so many chemicals and ozone depleting, we have to wear more skin mask. We have to make sure we're aware that our skin is protected right. and really take care of ourselves. Otherwise, we'll end up with this horrible um, cancer. Exactly. Oh, this makes me. Um, speaking of which, you set the fashion trends for what goes on in the world, including is the bronze looking and are people still doing that? Or is it okay to rock a pale? Oh, it's always okay to rock a pale. Look at me. <laughs> um, I'm always too. doing the pale. But you know what? If you have darker skin, I mean, let's face it, we're all different shades in this world. And you rock what you have. I just think you have to be really cognizant when you're out in the sun. And, um, don't cook. You don't want to grow up to be a handbag. I don't, do you? No, absolutely not. I definitely don't wear in the sun. And of course, ladies out there, and guys too, for a lot of those guys Jersey too. Shore, shore watchers, make sure that you do the, the, the sunless tanning. You can do sunless tanning sprays, sunless you tanning lotion. Tan, you know, like, like, yeah. just be yourself. Just, you know, if you're outside, be cognizant that the sun's out there and it's beating down. Put on some great sunblock, you know, and there's some great fragrances. We can all smell lovely and yummy, that like you true. always do. Um, just keep that in mind and, and just be, take care of yourself. And, Sweet, you have a lot going on right now. Is there any place that people can follow you, Twitter, Facebook, your website? Just go to my website. It's all there. It's SuedeSays.com. S-U-E-D-E-S-A-Y-S.com. And what Suede says you listen to. So stay out of the sun. Suede says out of the sun, sunblock. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Peace out. We are joined right now with Project Runway Season 8 finalist, Casanova. How in the world did you ever get the name Casanova? And don't try to put any moves on me, mister. <laughs> uh, you know, um... Casanova is my last name, so my entire family are Casanova. Oh. So, but my complete name is Carlos Casanova Mendoza. I have just one name and two last names. So when I moved to New York, people believe that I'm Carlos C. Mendoza. So they they skip Casanova, which right. is my father's last name. So for the fact that I don't like when they hide or skip Casanova, I just decide to go only by Casanova because. Like, my letters and stuff, they're like Carlos C. Mendoza, and I was kind of upset about that. Right, because they're taking away your entire family legacy. Uh -huh, exactly. Very upsetting. I'm Italian. We're similar to, exactly. you know, a Spanish culture, you know, very family. Familia, right? Familia, Exactly. Right. See, see, he's going to teach me a few words in Spanish. We're here tonight for the Skin Foundation, yes. uh, for the Night Under the Stars. And, and really learning about prevention. How can you tell our friends out there in Spanish mm -hmm. to stay out of the sun? Um, entiéndase que debemos de utilizar protección solar más, mucho más para mí. Eh, yo viví 33 años en, en una isla en el Caribe, so yo tengo verano todo el año y yo crecí bajo la cultura de protección solar. Incluso mi persona que soy muy blanco para vivir en el Caribe. Así que yo puedo hablar de eso. As Casanova's interpreter, he <laughs> just said, the sun is dangerous. You exactly. must wear SPF protection, 30 or above, and you have to stay out of the sun. I made that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're playing a lot. We're playing a lot. No, thank you so much. And, and where can people go and learn more about you, Casanova? Well, yeah, you can go to my webpage, which is www.casanovanyc.com.
Awesome. And do you have any designs where people can purchase your clothing or do you have a live yeah, coming yeah, up? Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. Pass it over at myc.com. Thank you for joining us. We are joined by this famous guy, Jerry Penicoli. Thank you for being with us today. Well, you're very kind. And, and thanks for having me. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, and it's exciting to see you here. Especially at such a great cause, Skin Cancer Foundation. You yourself are a skin cancer survivor with stage 3 melanoma. Was it a routine shock? I mean, you, you documented this for extra. Yes. It's a diary. I, I did. Thank you. I, uh... It was something as simple as finding a, a little tiny ball on my inner right thigh. It looked suspicious to me. I'm going to be honest. I did not go every year to have my skin checked. And I was not considered in the high risk group because it's usually very, very fair, uh, blonde, red-headed people. And I'm a Mediterranean, you know, Italian-American. So uh, I didn't think that meant and that was stupid of me. I should have, I should have done my homework. And I didn't, so I take full responsibility. But I did discover this little mole, it didn't look right. Thank God I could see it. It was on my back or somewhere where I couldn't see it. This could have been a disaster. This might not have ended well. So, so I, I showed it to my doctor, took a biopsy, thankfully. He wasn't a dermatologist, he was my regular doctor. And he said, um, it's probably nothing. But it was. It was positive. All over stage three. Uh, two surgeries later, I, uh, I'm happy to see I'm cancer free. And thank God for that. And for the people that are they're out there, what can you just say? It's prevention, prevention, the three words they need to know. Go every year, have an annual skin check by your dermatologist, but a dermatologist who knows what skin cancer looks like and what to look for. Make sure, and here's an easy way to remember, Dr. Robbins from the Skin Cancer Foundation, uh, I'm going to steal it from him. He just told me, he said, you know what I do? He said, I go and have my birthday suit checked on my birthday. I like that. So, it's easy to remember. It's easy to remember. On your birthday, or right around it, go get naked with the dermatologist and have your skin checked. Seriously. The other thing you can do is, when you're in the sun, use sunscreen religiously. And I don't mean put it on once and forget about it. Continue to reapply it. Make sure it's at least SPF 35. If it says waterproof, don't believe it. It's not. Reapply. It's not. Just keep reapplying. Exactly. And you know where to see Jerry. Always catch him on extra for the inside scoop on everything that's happening in Hollywood. And thank you for being here. You're really doing wonderful. It's my pleasure. Enjoy the event.